Hello and welcome to Close the Loop. I'd like to take this opportunity to show you through our world-class resource recovery facility here in Melbourne. Resource recovery is a term that I use to describe getting the maximum value out of all of the original resources that were used to create or build a product. In our industry, where we're particularly focusing on electronics products, a good example is this inkjet cartridge where Close the Loops facility and our patented processes recover all of the plastics to be reused again as new plastics. We recover the foam, the ink to be used in an e-wood product, which is a timber replacement product, and we even recover the precious metals and other metals from the circuitry on this cartridge. That's what we mean by resource recovery. Not simply recycling, but reusing all of those natural resources over and over again. The important element of resource recovery is that it allows zero waste to landfill and zero incineration. It all starts with providing easy access to recycling for the end user. Close the Loop works hard to educate end users. We've built a collection infrastructure of over 20,000 sites in retail outlets like Australia Post, Officeworks, Harvey Norman and Dick Smith Electronics stores through to business and government sites across the country. I'd like to introduce our resident scientist, Dr. John Shears, who'll tell you a little bit more about the science of resource recovery. From there, we'll go on and do a factory tour. I have a PhD in polymer chemistry, and I've evaluated uh, the recycling of plastics worldwide. And uh, in that context, have looked at various recycling systems for uh, plastics in general. The need that Close the Loop serves is to keep imaging consumables such as toner cartridges and inkjet cartridges out of landfill and potentially doing harm to the environment. Close the Loop's operation is unique in that we accept a range of imaging consumables such as toner cartridges and printer cartridges which contain metals, pigments, plastics of mixed composition that are a challenge to recycle. Close the Loop uses existing technologies but the technologies are arranged in a, in a new and novel manner to give an innovative recycling process. Okay, we're in the main part of the factory. Our factory is in two or three distinct sections. This section is for disassembly, storage, and as you can see, the guys in the background are recycling cardboard and plastics. So this is our inward goods area. It's the place where all of the materials come in from the roller door just behind you, and they're all weighed here, and then put in their relative positions or taken to the machines that process them. This is the other end of the inward goods area. Everything that comes in is weighed. As you know, zero waste to landfill and mass balance is a very important feature of this company. Here are some of the cartridges that are getting ready to go through the inkjet machine. Some of the uh, inkjet cartridges you can see of different sizes. And this shipment would have recently come in from Singapore. This is the back section of our factory. The blue machine behind us is the GM4 machine or the inkjet cartridge machine. I don't know if you can see the green one behind that. That's our original GM1. We'll take a look at that in a minute and upstairs is the check-in area. Come on and let's have a look from upstairs. Hiya Pat. So this is the check-in area. We've raised it up above the ground so that we could get more people working and make better use of the floor space. It's working really well too. This is our check-in area. The area where all data is captured at Close the Loop. All bags on the inward side of our process are opened here, where the cartridges are catalogued, fed into the database for reporting to the end user or the OEM. Then they're separated by cartridge type and processed by batch. So the equipment you're looking at right now is our e-wood extrusion plant. It's the first of its kind in the world. It's a patented process and it's all about recycling mixed plastics impregnated with flame retardant. So it's a pretty trick piece of plant and we're very excited as you can see it's coming together now. So here we are at the front end of the green machine and Pat here won a record yesterday, the most equipment, the most material we've ever put through the green machine. So well done Pat. Chris has just dropped off a new load for him and it's all systems go. 
So Michael's now our operator of the GM4 machine. He does a great job. What he's doing now is sorting out contamination on this load that we've just got in from Singapore. The GM4 machine is operating at about three or 400 kilograms an hour and uh, we're certainly waiting on more work for it, so we're under capacity at the moment. So this is the final stage of GM1 and GM2, and what we're doing here is separating the stainless steel from the mixed plastic. This is our latest machine, which is designed to completely mechanically disassemble this particular cartridge type and sort it out into its constituent parts. This is our R&D lab, and it gives us the opportunity to first-hand work on solutions for printed circuit board recycling and other material separation processes that we had to outsource before. The environment's a very hot topic at the moment, and understandably so. Close the Loop's great work is getting recognised in the media, including this recent publication, The Natural Advantage of Nations, some great television, newspaper and magazine coverage as well. Here's a little example of some recent TV featuring Close the Loop. You know, well, this country, Australia, is one of the more gadget-savvy nations, but the increase in computers and mobile phones, printers, has created a problem with electronic waste. And with some good news this morning, uh, David White joins us. G'day, Whitey. Carry on, how are you? Terrific. Yeah, i got to say with these days, mobile phones and printers and all that sort of stuff, what happens with the old ones? Because we get superseded models. Well, I'll tell you, there's about 18 million cartridges that still, sadly, go to landfill. 18 million, I mean, that is really... Old printer cartridges. Yeah, yeah. They just end up in landfill, they rot, they're full of toxics and, and hazardous chemical waste and they're not good, obviously, for the soil or the waterways that may happen to be nearby. Okay, so well, let's get some of that good news because you went to Melbourne, didn't you? I did. I went down to Melbourne and saw a factory called Close the Loop, which is uh, Planet Ark's recycling partner, and they are the future of manufacturing. I'll say this, if, if other companies don't measure up to Close the Loop, they will simply fail because what Close the Loop do, they close, they close the loop literally. They stop anything from going up the chimney or out the pipes. Zero waste. I'm taking jet cartridges and they recycle those. You're seeing the big machine here, the green machine, an Australian invention which is now being taken to the world. And this is an amazing thing. It takes all this old waste and it literally separates them. So how does it separate them? It, uh, I can't tell you the actual technical process that goes on inside the machine, but what it does is it separates the various metals and plastics and puts them out for reprocessing for various companies and what have you. And it saves, saves it all from ending up in landfill, a whole lot. So thanks for taking the time to have a look at Close the Loop. Until we meet again, bye for now.